What started out as a group of ladies doing good deeds has grown into one of the largest food pantries in Pune. Recently, their work has been vital to helping people displaced by the eruption. Our Alison Blair introduces us to the group who call themselves Bodacious Women of Pomoa. Alison. That's right, Steph. They've got quite the name, don't they? And they are on quite the mission. Volunteers have been working every day since the eruption began, distributing food, clothing, and other necessities in communities throughout Pune. When that first crowd shook, we were already calling each other. We came down here, met with each other, and says, okay, we need to go in action. When people in Pune need a hand up, they often turn to these women. You're not always going to have a family member or a friend to stay with. Using money out of their own pockets, the bodacious women of Bohoa launched their first food bank in 2013. Since then, they've helped establish monthly pantries in neighborhoods throughout Pune. Over the years, the nonprofit has been instrumental in providing relief following disasters like Hurricane Izel. It is important because, you know, people who, like, can't go out to market and get what they want. This is the place to be. Since the eruption began, the number of folks living with Marie Nihi has more than doubled from 7 to 15. I came several times, so I figured since I'm coming to get, I might as well give my time. So I take care of this area right here. Nanabali is always being used because this has always been our hub. Volunteers are at the community association's log house seven days a week from 9 in the morning until 3, helping people with the basics. Right now, this need, the biggest need is tents, tarps, bungee cords, and water. Every day, dozens of people are served. With no end in sight, Tracy, along with the rest of the bodacious women, say they're committed to the cause. We will continue until all needs have been met, just like Hurricane itself. for more fissures as bushfires sparked. Hawaii's volcano eruption is spewing hot lava for more fissures as activity spreads across Big Island. Kilauea volcano's wrath continues to threaten locals on the Big Island as a number of fissures burst into life over the last 24 hours. Plumes of toxic smoke are expected to spread to the west of the island over the weekend. The Hawaii Fire Department were also called at 12 p.m. local time after high levels of heat in the region sparked a raging bushfire near Pua Nandalu, causing Highway 190 to remain closed. Highway 190 was closed for a few hours although the road is now open for vehicles, but officials warned locals to take caution. Lava was spotted erupting from fissures 16 and 22 which emerged on Friday, as fissure 8 continues to erupt raging lava flowing to the Kapoho Ocean. USGS in Hawaii said, lava fountains from the Fisher 8 spatter cone continue to flow in the established channel to the Kapoho coastline. A dominant ocean entry on the salt edge of the flow front is producing a large lease pool. Upslope, minor overflows from the channel occur periodically, but are short-lived and do not extend beyond the current flow field. Fisher 6 is no longer active. Fisher 16 displayed incandescence and weak lava fountain was observed at Fisher 22 by this morning's overflight crew. Toxic volcanic gas emissions from Fisher 8 remain high, and trade winds are set to sweep far to southern and western parts of the island of Hawaii. 
Pele's barren volcanic gas fragments continue to threaten Big Island, as trade winds are expected to carry lava particles several meters from Kilauea's vent. Residents are urged to avoid exposing themselves to these volcanic fragments, as they can severely irritate the skin and eyes. Locals have been warned not to venture too close to the ocean, as the explosive combination of lava and water can send huge debris flying into the air. Officials have also warned residents of Lays, which occurs when lava and water combine, creating corrosive plumes of hydrochloric acid with fun volcanic particles that can irritate skin, eyes and lungs. Locals should not walk on lava delta, formed when lava cools and hardens upon contact with the sea, as officials say it is unstable and can easily slide into the sea, endangering those who tread on it. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency said, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that Fisher 8 continues to erupt with a full channel flowing to the ocean of Kapoho. Currently, there is no immediate threat, but persons near the active flow should heed warnings from civil defense. Trade winds are pushing VOC to the southwest. Hawaiian authorities have announced free medical, dental and eye care services for residents at Keo High School between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on June 22 and June 23rd. The Hawaii County Civil Defense added, seismicity remained elevated overnight at the summit of Kili Volcano, reaching over 40 earthquakes per hour at one point. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halemoma continues in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. Sulfur dioxide emissions from the volcano summit have dropped to levels that are about half those measured prior to the onset of the current episode of eruptive activity. This gas and minor amounts of ash are being transported downwind, with small bursts of ash and gas accompanying them. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that Fisher 8 continues to erupt with a full channel flowing to the ocean at Kapoho. Currently there is no immediate threat, but persons near the active flow should heed warnings from civil defense. Due to frequent earthquake activity, residents in the volcano area are advised to monitor utility connections of gas, electricity and water after earthquakes. You may monitor VOG and air quality conditions online using the Hawaii Interagency Vlog Information Dashboard, linked on the Civil Defense website. The FEMA Disaster Recovery Center is open daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and is located at the Keao High School Gym. Free medical, dental, and eye care will be available today, June 23rd, at Tropicare 2018, at Keao High School between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Tropicare will also hold a free legal clinic tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Tropic Care is open to everyone, regardless of whether or not they are affected by the Kilauea eruption. We are on watch 24 hours a day for your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency.
Hawaii volcano eruption. Stunning video gets viewers extremely close with lava flow. Hawaii volcano Kilauea created nearly 20 cracks in the Earth's surface, with several violently spewing rivers of scalding lava into the Pacific Ocean. Stunning footage shows the lava sputtering out of Fisher 16 in the affected area of Puna. Hawaii volcano Kilauea has been spewing scalding lava and ashes for over seven weeks, wreaking havoc across the district of Puna on the eastern side of the archipelago's Big Island. Riveting videos from the area show steady flows of magma and debris sputtering out of Fisher 16 adding to the 30 million gallons of lava Kilauea has produced since the start of the eruption. The video, shared by local online website Honolulu Civil Beat, also shows up close shots of the bubbling lava violently exiting the fissure. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS warned in its latest update warned blistering lava had been seen shooting out of Kilauea reaching heights of 108 feet. The USGS said, lava fountains from the fissure 8 spatter cone continue to feed the established channel shuttling lava to the Kapoho coastline. A dominant ocean entry on the salt edge of the flow front produced a large lace plume throughout the day. Fisher 6 used lava sporadically through the early morning hours. Fisher 16 slash 18 and 22 displayed incandescence early this morning. The Hawaii volcano eruption caused a gas explosion at Kilauea summit that sent shockwaves throughout the island. The explosion at the Halemomo crater created a 5.3 magnitude blast wave, according to officials at the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. The rim and walls of the volcano collapsed inwards, causing further destruction at Halemomo's hazardous gas continues to cloud the southeast of Big Island. A total of 2,930 parcels of land have been destroyed, damaged, or made inaccessible by Kilauea. This includes almost 600 homes that have been destroyed. Earlier this week, USGS admitted there is no way of knowing when the volcano's lava flow may slow down or stop. When asked about the current state of the magma chambers, they said, We are not exactly sure how much magma is beneath the summit. We only have estimates. But we are confident that it is at least in excess of 100 times what has been erupted so far. So we would need years of the current eruption rate to empty the summit. The ASA satellite scans Hawaii's Big Island twice every six days for changes in the volcanic caldera. When asked if the Hawaii volcano's chambers will empty anytime soon, the U.S. agency admitted there is no accurate way of knowing. High winds are wafting lighter particles greater distances and residents are being urged to minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation similar to volcanic ash. Field crews from the Hawaii Observatory Observatory are still at the site tracking the fountains, lava flows, and scattering from Fisher 8. Observations are also collected on a daily basis from cracks in the area of Highway 130 and no changes in temperature, crack with or gas emissions have been noted for several days.